Right, folks, it's bloody cold. Well, I say it's cold. It ain't that cold. It's just a cold wind, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Storm Brendan coming in and battering the bloody country. Uh, right, folks, first things first, I have got to say a shout-out. I'm not doing shout-outs, really, but, you know, sometimes it's just nice. Uh, people ask me to do birthdays, and I forget to do the birthdays, and I do apologise, but this, um, this one's not a birthday. This is a get well soon and hope you have a quick recovery. This one's from Frank. Uh, Frank waits. Does he? <laughs> Frank waits. Uh, this one is for Ned. Apparently on the way to work uh, just before Christmas, Ned was on his way to work on his bike and uh, he was hit head on by some van driver. Um, he uh, suffered uh, serious injuries and he spent Christmas in hospital. Uh, these van drivers, Ned, you've got to watch out for them. They're all bastards. But nice to hear that you're making a recovery. Just speed it up, mate, and um, all the best. Get well soon, Ned. Right, on to the review. Um, I have come to Subway in Loughborough. Uh, Kirsty served me, name badge, and um, I have gone for these new toasties, haven't I, Ginge? Yes. Ginge has just uh, demolished a meatball six inch thing or whatever it were um we you get these what you get these um toasties um let me just i've took a photo a photo not a photo <laughs> but a photo of uh what there is and you can have steak and cheese ham and cheese tuna melt and cheese uh they cost a grand total of one pound 29 and um i think they're there just as a little extra you know when you've probably had a couple of uh 12 inches and, um, you know, you just want something to finish it off. I mean, June quite often likes a 12-incher. And uh, you just need that little bit to make it complete. Are you laughing at? Not you. A dog. <laughs> Ginny's there on some kind of shitty tube uh, website thing watching dogs. No, um, no. Right, so what I'm going to do, folks, uh, I have actually got all four slobbering because um i want to give my opinion on each one uh we have got uh let's go for the tuna one let's hope it is tuna and they haven't got them in the wrong bags or anything uh right that's what it is folks there we go um i would say that is the size of a jacob's cream cracker or you know probably an audi cream cracker um your standard cream cracker, wouldn't you agree, Ginge? Yeah. Yeah. Three crackers uh, high. Yeah, about three <laughs> crackers high. Ginge's crackers. This is the tuna melt. They've got the uh, spinach and a piece of tomato. I have had the sweet chilli sauce because I do like sweet chilli sauce. Sweet, su sweet chilli sauce is the best. Mmm. That is good. Am I disturbing you? No. Good. I don't think you are. Um, there you go, folks. That's what it looks like. Um, for the visually impaired, I'm actually holding it up. It is just a small... It's, it's a... What is it? Chipata bread? But patty bread? Some kind Chibata. of... Chibata? Chibata. I think so. Were any in Star Wars? Chibata? <laughs> Mm. Ooh. Ooh. What? I that is nice. That's just tuna. Um, I think there was an episode of Dinner Ladies where the girl goes up and she wanted tuna and sweet corn. And uh, who does it? Who's, who's she's dead, isn't she? I can't remember her name. I don't know. Who did it? I can't remember her name. Who, did, who wrote Dinner Ladies? Anyway, you'll all be putting comments at the bottom. Look in your phone, dinner ladies. Can't remember. Um, and anyway, the girl went in. She wanted tuna and sweet corn. And then she wanted the tuna on its own and sweet corn on its own. Nobody has that. But anyway, um, she was saying that it was tuna and sweet corn. Oh, Victoria Wood. Victoria Wood. The late, great Victoria Wood. She was that great. I couldn't remember her name. Apologies, Victoria. Mmm. Mmm. I do love tuna sweet corn. Does it have sweet corn, eh? No, it ain't got sweet corn. Why? I just have it. Mmm. Oh. 
very very good mm. I do use the um, I do use the Subway in Loughborough on the edge of Loughborough near Shellthorpe near the new Audi near Costa Coffer near Greggs next door to Greggs it's very close to Greggs it's bloody next door I do use that one quite a lot they are good there right we're going for the steak now we're going for the steak toasting are you alright Ginge sitting there yeah there it is folks that looks like a good nice piece of beef and stuff in there with tomato and spinach again Is that a peppered beef? That's not. Odd. The beef is tender. But there's not as much taste as I normally get in the beef. But it's alright, it's good. Oh shit. <laughs> oh damn me bloody French connection. Jeez. That was my own fault. I was too busy trying to taste the beef. Oh god, I've got bloody beef in me bloody sock. You <laughs> telling me inside of me trainer. <sighs> That's the only trouble when you sit and eat it in your van. You just end up down your socks, down your trousers, on your steering wheel. I'm in a mess. I'm in a right pukiyake. <laughs> what did you say pukiyake? Come on. Mm. Right, folks. If you have the beef one, again, don't put sweet chilli sauce on it. Put some kind of mustard. That's what that needed. That needed just a bit of a drizzle of mustard on it. And that, that would have been the dogs. Could you pass me a wet wipe, please, Ginge? I've used them all. You've used them all? Do you want that one? That one's not used. You can't, will it? <laughs> Unbelievable. Just, uh, Clean myself down, folks. Right, next one is the ham. Uh, I'm going on the ham. Um, there it is, look, folks. Ham and cheese and tomato and spinach, I think. Is there a spinach leaf on there? Yeah, there's a spinach leaf on there. Oh, shit, I've done it again. Oh, that's good with the... Um, They may be small, but they pack a punch, folks. They leak and stuff all over, but they are tasty. Mmm. That's good with the um, sweets, uh, with the sweet chilli. But I think you've got to think a bit more. I mean, I just, I just like sweet chilli. But I think I should have used different dressings on different toasties. Mm. That one could have just had mayonnaise on it. Mm. Right, folks, I am now going for the cheese one uh, once again with the tomato one, and I've also had the sweet chili on it again. And I don't think I should have done, I should have had, I don't know, perhaps you don't need them. I, I think. If you're going to have these, folks, you've got to work out which has the right dressing on the top. I shouldn't have had sweet chilli on them, and I should have probably just left it as it were on some. But the beef one should have had mustard. Got it, folks. Ew. That's the plainest one of the lot, but it's still okay. These are just nice little appetizers. What's that 
This is a cheese one. Ham smells. Mmm. They're all good to be fair folks. You've just got to work out the right sauce you have on the top. A good idea from Subway this. Because sometimes sometimes folks you just if we go into Subway If me and June go into Subway, sometimes I want to um, I look like the footballers when they're talking to each other when they're coming off the pitch. Hey, Ginge. Because that's what the footballers do, isn't it? I don't know. They say that referee were a right, blah, 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 and blah, 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 and they do it so they lip read it. Mind that's a bit of pain, isn't it? Because if you're lip reading me, if you're lip reading me, you're doing well. Um, so, if me and June coming to uh oh god now I've spat on me wheel <laughs> am i in a mare it's because you're here you Spot bad luck <laughs> you bad luck omen ginge <laughs> bloody hell Shush. um yeah if me and june come into subway and i fancy a you know a, a proper subway i've done it again um and june will say oh i don't want anything but i do fancy something and like she'll have a bite of mine and then it just it, it, it's like crisps with june if i have a packet of crisps I'll say, do you want a packet of crisps, you? No, I'll have one of yours. I don't want you to have one of mine. Get your own. You end up having more than I do. And then the dog has one, and then the lurcher has one, and then I ain't got no crisps. So, in the future, if me and June do actually pop into Subway, and she wants something, but she don't want a whole one, I will get her a toasty for £1.29, which is excellent value, and a good idea from Subway. So, well done to Subway. Thank you for the girls in there that served me. And uh, really enjoyed it. What did you think, Ginge? Quite nice. You had a bloody meatball thing. Yeah, but I had a ham one. Yeah, you had a ham one, didn't you? Scoff that, didn't you? So, uh, all right, folks. Uh, get well soon, Ned. Laters.